Artificial turf has been enabling more play for decades, but it has also become stagnant. For years, artificial turf has depended on black rubber infill to provide traction and cushioning. But these pellets fly around and create an inconsistent playing surface. Something better was needed. Someone needed to come along and shake up the game. Introducing Pivot by Tenkata. Pivot is the most durable and consistent artificial athletic surface ever created, providing a field that looks, feels, and plays more like natural grass than anything else on the market. Creating a revolution isn't easy, which is why Pivot was developed differently from the start. Tenkata is the only team using the latest in biomechanical testing to help design turf, and the only team involving real athletes at every step along the way. So we set up the Center for Turf Innovation at Tenkata Grass about five years ago. Rather than just looking at it from an engineering or a chemistry perspective, we'd always been really good at that in the past, but we were kind of lacking about what the athlete wanted. So we wanted to put the athlete front and center in all of our R&D. Obviously, research isn't a fast process, so we've done lots of iterations, lots of development. The first thing is we had to understand how to measure things. And then when we started to understand how to measure the athletes, that allowed us to start iterating and understanding how good quality grass was working and how current turf was working. And then that allowed us to develop new systems and really have a good fundamental understanding. So when it comes to pivot, that was really a four to five year journey of evaluation, validation and testing. And I think we're on about version iteration around 52 at the moment to get to where we are today. But it's not a fast process, it's been a slow, iterative, step-by-step -step process, looking at it from all different directions, from a real holistic point of view, to really understand how that surface is affecting the player and how the player can get the best out of the surface and really emulate good quality natural turf. Collecting data from athletes is always difficult. They're fast. They move around in very complicated movement patterns. So we need to have very sophisticated equipment and very sophisticated uh, sensors and some great quality high-speed video analysis. So we can get the players kitted up and we can see what effect the surface is having on their joints, on their muscles, and also on their athletic performance. How fast can they run? How quickly can they change direction? And then we can use that and we can put all that together and assess system A versus system B versus system C. And that allows us to get a good insight of when we change one parameter of the product, how that affects the athlete. So we started doing that on, on natural turf. Of course, we, we can't grow natural turf very well in the lab, so we can test natural grass in a whole range of different conditions. And then we can see well, how our current fields are performing. Then when we launch a new product like Pivot, we can install that product in a field as a pilot and we can get some good measurements and some real world feedback. How is it going to react when it freezes? What's it going to react like when it's really hot outside? When it's wet, when it's cold? And we can really understand how all those different conditions, which is going to affect the turf in the real world, how that affects the players and how that affects the product. So we're making sure that it's going to be good 365, 24 seven. So when we're collecting this data from these sensors, we want to see the joint angles. We want to see how quickly the angles of the, the, the lower limbs of the body are changing as they're running. We want to see basically how their gait, how their running style is being adapted for the surface. Athletes are really clever. We don't realize how clever we are. We adapt within microseconds, but we can pick that up in the data. So we can see how the force going through the ankle, through the knee, through the hip is different on different products on different surfaces as they're doing different movements. We can put all that stuff together and we can really get a good fundamental understanding of how the product is affecting the athlete. That allows us to then use our engineering knowledge of the yarns to re-engineer the yarns to replicate what we're getting from good quality grass or to remove the need for infill. And that's really what we're trying to do to develop the next generation of system, trying to emulate good quality grass so we can look at that data and re-engineer the system. So one of the, one of the criticalities that we found is the amount of force that goes through the athlete's joints. So obviously you don't want too much force going through the joints, but if you have too little force, then maybe there's going to be a slip and the player's not going to be able to perform their action correctly. So we want to try and see how much force goes through the ankle, through the knee, through the hip and through the body. And we can really measure that and we can see how different surfaces relate to generating more force to the athlete. And one thing that we did find on a lot of rubber fields that we're using is some of those forces were quite high much higher than on natural grass. And what we've done with Pivot is we've been able to get those forces very, very similar to good quality grass. With natural turf, the soil mixture and the sand mixture is what gives it the performance and the grip that the athlete wants. Soil is quite a deadened impact. In engineering, we call it plastic, so it's plastic deformation. So when a cleat hits the soil, you leave a little mark, a little divot in the turf. It absorbs the load, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't, it doesn't push back against the athlete. So you get that nice, comfortable cushioning from soil, but you don't get a huge amount of pushback. And that's what we're trying to emulate. What we're seeing with historically with turf is that 
With rubber, it's great at absorbing the load, but it also wants to push back. The more you squash rubber, the more it wants to bounce back. And this recoil that we've been able to measure, this, this recoil effect of the rubber, is something that is not at all um, helpful for the athlete. The numbers of players that tell us after they come off a rubber field that they feel a little bit tired, uh, like some of their joints ache, we're able to measure that now. And with Pivot, we've been able to overcome that hurdle of, of turf and basically get much closer to what grass does. What we've done with Pivot is we've designed the yarns to react just like soil. We've basically taken all the infill out and we've put in significantly more fibres, more yarns as we call them. But what we've done to those yarns is we've re-engineered those yarns from first principles. We've gone back to the drawing board from an engineering perspective, from a chemistry perspective, and we've produced those yarns to react like soil. So we've got significantly more yarns up to four times the mass of yarn that we'd have in an old turf system. But those yarns are non-directional. So when the, when the cleat goes in, it absorbs, it takes it, it provides a grip, but it doesn't spring back, it slowly releases, which is almost identical to good quality grass. And that's taken years of innovation to get to that point. It's great having the mechanical and biomechanical data. At the same time, we also spend a lot of time talking to the athletes because it's quite important to get their feedback what they like or what they dislike about it. So we spend a huge amount of time doing focus groups and talking to the athletes to really get an understanding and trying to get their language, their communication and put that into an engineered product. This stuff is so comfortable to play on and compared to the rubber turf and the grass, I mean, it's definitely as close to grass as you can get in my opinion. You have a little bit more momentum when you plant. You don't really see as much of slipping or sliding. This grass feels more like a real grass material. Yeah, it's like you can get out of cuts faster, get out of breaks faster. The acceleration phase, you can get to top speed at a higher level, I feel like. Especially with being 250 plus pounds, I mean, it's hard to get that kind of weight moving, especially in sports like football. I mean, you've got 300 pounders running on this stuff all the time, and just the ball get off and starting and stopping, is so much better on this kind of stuff. Earlier, I was just kind of messed with it. I was trying to like make myself slip. I couldn't, and it's almost like I mean, comparing the old fields to this to this new turf, it's like this is almost gives you an advantage. If you, like if this is at your home stadium and you're used to playing on it, I mean, like, it is quite literally an advantage to have this turf over the other. We've got some fantastic equipment where we can simulate years of use within weeks of testing. And what we found is it's our longest lasting product that we've made. It, it, it outperforms all of our other products. We're seeing that the performance is being maintained for years and years. The performance is not dropping off over time. It's maintaining the level of performance for years and years. The difference that I noticed um, immediately is just the, the feel under your feet. It's something that, like this is kind of an age-old question now, with turf versus natural grass, and, and uh, it's something that comes up a lot with our coaches. And, and uh, the, the question that kind of se seems to come up is, well, well, if you had a perfect grass surface, would you rather play on the grass, would you rather play on the turf? And the thing I would say is like, th this feels like a perfect grass uh, surface, and um, I, I, I really haven't had the luxury of playing on very many that, that feel like perfect grass or actual uh, natural grass. It's just so hard to take care of. Um, so uh, we, we feel like, we're, like we have that perfect surface right here. When I walked on the pivot turf the first time, I was blown away at how cushy and soft it felt to the point where I wasn't sure how this would actually play. Getting our kids on it and getting it on it myself in cleats gave me a completely different perspective. It's the best surface I've ever been on uh, in every way. One of the biggest compliments we've gotten is actually coming from some of the coaches and chain crew. They're on their feet for four hours, five hours, moving back and forth, they feel better. The players are always gonna be banged up, but when you have a group that, that doesn't have any impact and they're still feeling better about it, then uh, I think it says a lot about the product. We decided to turf 14 fields, which included five softball fields, a number of baseball fields, and it also included a full-size soccer field, which we also use for lacrosse. What we have seen is it has expanded beyond our own residence. We have outside tournaments that are now wanting to use this pivot turf. Uh, they've got other options in the area to use regular 45 ounce or even less uh, face weight of turf, but they're all wanting to play on this pivot turf. So that's a good indication to us that we made the right decision. So this has been a great response from our community and the demand uh, has just skyrocketed to, to use these fields.
I tell you, you know, being in a coach for 27 years, I'm not a, a, an engineer of any way, but I can see football, I can see people on it. I see them cut better, I see it faster. If you take it away from football and put it into a soccer perspective, I see a truer ball when it's kicked because of not having the black infield that you normally do on a regular turf field. Uh, so I think everybody will enjoy it a lot more and it covers a lot more than just the football part that everybody associates it with. This has been nothing but compliments from referees to opposing football teams to parents that have walked out afterwards to pick their kids up. It's like your cell phone or computer or anything, technology keeps getting better. I would have no problem suggesting Pivot for anybody. Yes, I've been in the high school arena for now 34 years in total, but I also was at the University of Tennessee. I was able to see a lot and learn a lot while I was there. I think that obviously I'm speaking from the high school level right here, but I think we're gonna see quickly a lot of the pivot fields are gonna start showing up at a lot of collegiate fields, not only in the football, soccer stadiums, but you're gonna see them on baseball stadiums as well. We've been using this for about 14 months now. So now we've, we've got a full season in it, you know, a full off season in it. Um, you know, our junior high players, our high school players, our, our soccer kids, I mean, the baseball kids come over here and train, you know, really all of our outdoor sports teams have used this surface now. And uh, ev everybody is really, really appreciating the way it, just, just the way it holds up under their feet. Running on pivot felt awesome. It was like totally different from what we used to because we used to ru running on rubber grass and like it just felt like we were running on clouds. It felt 10 times better. Putting on the motion sensors was like turning into a robot for a day. <laughs> so it was cool. Like playing football since five years old, it's like I never thought I would be the kid doing that. So, <laughs> so it was like surreal. It was like I get to help the next kid chase their dream on better grass. To have the pivot here, it'll make practice better, games better, <laughs> make better athletes. I would choose pivot over any other artificial service because I've got this beautiful $700,000 natural grass field behind my facility that I always chose to practice on in the past. And now my kids and my staff prefer being on the pivot. So we spent all this time developing Pivot through 50 or more iterations to try and emulate good quality grass. That's ultimately what we're trying to do, trying to get that playing experience as close to the best quality optimal grass in the market, and we've achieved that. Um, final question before we sort of wrap it up. If you could replace your current field with something like this, would you want to do that? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> I'm with him. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I wish I'd have done it yesterday. <laughs> yes, sir. I got tomorrow, tomorrow, and yesterday. All right. Well, thanks, gents. I really Thank appreciate you. you coming. Thank you, sir.